Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. As promised, here is the Shadow High Tea and Fall lineup leaks for 2022. So I know I'm a little late to the game because the Shadow High dolls were officially leaked by MGA themselves on, I believe it was Wednesday, but I was at work and I had a lot of things happening. So I have seen them. I have opinions and we're going to get into that. And then today, along with pretty much the rest of MGA's doll lines and things like that, the lovely doll girly over on Instagram updated us as to what we can expect for the fall of this year from the Rainbow High and Shadow High franchise. So I am going to talk about how I feel about the six series one dolls, and then I'm going to share with you what we can expect in the future. Starting with my girl Natasha on the far left, she is absolutely breathtaking just from what we've seen. Based off of first impressions, I would say she is my favorite from the line, but of course that is subject to change. I'm obsessed with her. We've seen both of her outfits now. We've seen what her artwork looks like on the store display. She actually is the only doll as of right now that we've received leaked stock photos of, like of her in the box. And I just, I love everything about her. She's freaking amazing and I cannot wait to get my hands on her. Moving on to the queen of snakeskin, this is Heather, and we have also now seen both of her outfits, and I think the first one is my favorite just because obviously it's a dress, but this one looks really cool too. I'm I'm a big fan of the snakeskin. I love Gabriella's snakeskin boots from Series 3 Rainbow High, so I'm very excited. I don't really like the split um, down the middle hair, but I'm a big fan of Melanie Martinez, who is an artist that does that a lot. Um, Metal Chick from OMG has that. Obviously, Jet Dawson has it. So we will see. I'm extremely excited for her, and she her color is gray, so I'm very intrigued to see you know how she comes out. This is Ash, and we all know my opinion on boy dolls, so I'm not going to repeat it. I, I think he has a new boy face mold. Now, I will say, out of the three boys that this franchise has, this one is most likely my favorite. Does that mean I will be getting him? No, so I really don't have much to say. I do like his name, though. His name's pretty cool. This is Nicole, and she's got that Carmen hairstyle going on, which is totally fine. I think she's really pretty. Her shoes look like they will be soft and more material-based, kind of like Natasha's boots she's wearing as well, not just the standard, you know, rainbow high shoe. So I'm excited to see how those will feel. I love both of her outfits. I wasn't sure about her at first, but now I'm really digging Nicole, and she is one of my favorites from this. Here we've got Luna, and it was not confirmed until a little bit after this picture was released because everyone was like, oh my god, she looks like Sunny. Well, her last name is Madison. Her first name means moon, and then obviously Sunny means sun. So she could be Sunny's twin. They could be complete polar opposites. I think that's really cool. I wasn't initially a big fan of her, and then I... I like the name Luna, and I looked at her outfit a little bit more, and I do like it. I'm not a big fan of the sunny hairstyle, so we'll see how that goes. I might just take hers out. Not quite sure, but she is also the one that we are, we don't know that much about because four out of the six were posted in that photo, and then Natasha, we've seen her um, art on the store display, like I said, and then we've also seen her in box, so Luna is the most mysterious of the six. Last but most certainly not least is the doll that I'm probably the most excited for, and that is Miss Chanel. So yes, I said Natasha is my favorite, but I've already seen her in box. And I know that's like the picture is so different than actually seeing her in person. And I totally, I totally understand. But with Chanel, we only know really what this outfit looks like. We've seen the first one, but it's not, you know, it's not in real life. So I am beyond excited to see her in the box and then obviously out of it in person. And I haven't decided if I'm buying all five girls at once or if I am going to pick them up in sets or singles, whatever I do. But I feel like when I go to the store to buy them, Natasha and Chanel will come home with me on day one. Now we're going to move on to tea that was spilled today over on Instagram by the lovely doll girly. And that is the Shadow High Fall 2022 lineup. So I have a Rainbow High video that I posted before this, basically covering the same thing. So this, we don't have as much information, but I also wanted to put it in here because I found it really, really intriguing. I wasn't sure if they had more plans for this line, and obviously they do before it has even been released. So let's get into it. So this is all we have, which is fine because there's still a lot here. So at the top, we have Shadow High Series 2. They will retail for $29.99 US dollars. It says boy unconfirmed. There's no colors here. We know absolutely nothing. 
and obviously the silhouettes, I don't think they're exactly, you know, what the doll is intended to look like, as you can see with the boy in the first row and the boy in the second row, they're basically the same thing. So I don't really pay attention to those. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're not. But I hope that series one lives up to my expectations and everyone else's and I, I think it will but I didn't know they already had a plan for series two so I cannot wait until those colors get revealed because I'm I'm excited to see what happens with that. Row two gives us the Shadow High two pack and it will retail for $69.99 USD and these better be some pretty darn like good extra exquisite dolls for $70. So it also says boy unconfirmed, but if it does, if they do a boy, maybe they'll have a boyfriend, girlfriend two pack. I don't know. Maybe they'll do if they'll do another twins pack. So maybe it'll be like the shadow high version of Holly and Laurel. That'd be kind of cool. So I don't know. This could be interesting. We'll see. I, I don't know. It depends on how good they look. Cause I don't know if I'll buy those, but below it is something I will definitely buy probably the day it comes out. It is the shadow high fashion trunk and it is $54.99 and it is a little bit more expensive than Avery's by $5 but it comes with Ainsley. Ainsley is the doll I or the character I have wanted a doll made out of ever since this whole rainbow high thing came to be and I am so excited. I cannot wait. I am obsessed with her. I I'm so stoked and we obviously will get extra shadow high fashions so that's that's going to be a big one for me. I think I'm the most excited about that out of anything on this list. At the bottom you see we have the shadow high playset and it retails for $69.99 it is rumored to be like something similar to the uh pacific coast pool and bar set which i actually don't have i don't plan on buying it but i think it's really cute i was kind of hoping they would do a shadow high house slash dorm this definitely will not be that so i'm kind of curious to see what they will do with this it's probably going to be something spooky which is obviously great but i don't know this this intrigues me a little bit that is all the information i have for you today thank you again to doll girly over on instagram because if i did not know about this if you did not post them then i would be completely lost so thank you again let me know who your favorite shadow high is in series one and let me know what you're most excited about for the future of this series I have heard rumors that March 21st is when Series 1 drops. I, I have no inside information, but I've heard rumors. So that if it's true, they're coming in like three days and I will literally cry tears of absolute joy. So that's going to be pretty exciting. If you have not already, go ahead and leave a positive comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to join the fam and tap that really cool notification bell so you can know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, everybody.